Hi everyone, Tanner's Tyres had asked their customers for some honest reviews of their solid, rigid tyres and having done over 750 miles of mine, I thought I'd share my experience. This is my trusty Marlin mountain bike. I've had it almost 12 years and after recently getting back into cycling, began to suffer a series of punctures from its cheaper 26 inch rims and tyres. Things came to a head when I got back from holiday, I was all ready to lay down a few miles and found another flat tyre. Enough was enough and a Google search led me onto Tanis. Tannis used their patented compound called Aether, and this is their latest iteration. They are solid with no inner tubes, made using a similar material to that used in training shoes. It gives an equivalent 60 psi or so. Fitting is within reach of the home user, but I entrusted it to Nip Nip Cycling in South London who supplied them too. So what they like? Pretty normal actually. They ride just like normal pneumatic tyres with just a fraction more rigidity. They're quite hard. Traction and grip are the same too, but of course the best thing about them is when you want to go out for a ride, you just hop on and go. No need for puncture repair kits or pumps or any of that stuff. I've read claims or queries that the tyres are slower than normal pneumatic ones. Well, unless you're a world class professional rider, you're simply not going to notice any difference. Rolling resistance is comparable with rubber tyres and Tannis claim their tyres lighter anyway, so it evens out. Downsides? Well, after more than 750 miles so far on a variety of surfaces, the only real challenge is riding on the painted lines in the road. The fitters warn me to be careful and it's true that I have felt the bike move around a little when straying onto them. But again, you could argue the same for pneumatic tyres, lines are best avoided. Wet weather performance and grip off-road is identical though. I do have a bit of concern about tyre wear. Tannis claims 6,000 kilometres from a tyre, but my rear tyre, which has done the equivalent of 1,200 kilometres, has already lost its centre seam and is working its way down. The front one is virtually as new, which is just as well because I've found the tyres to be about twice as expensive as traditional ones. Yet, as I was getting about one punch every two months, I could potentially get my money back over two to three years by avoiding these repairs. All in all, there's a lot to love about Tannis tyres. I now have a gravel bike and plan to switch out its tyres to Tannis as soon as I can. More than anything, the company deserves praise for being truly innovative. No one has really disrupted the market like they have, and it's about time too. Thank you.